Now, when we first looked at this video footage, I said to myself, well, this video footage could very well be manipulated. So I wanted to check it out myself. Well, we went and found the DVD that we had purchased shortly after September 11th entitled America Remembers, this is directly from CNN. We took this DVD and put it in our machine and examined the very clip that you've just seen. Let's take a look at it. Let's take another look at this clip in slow motion, but before we do, keep in mind that sometimes the best place to hide something is in plain sight. We've all seen this video clip, and there have been many publications that have taken frames from this video and published them in hundreds of magazines. Here's an example. On page three, a full-size blow-up of this picture. And in this magazine, it was published on page four. And on the back of this book that we discussed earlier, it's on the back cover. I suggest you all take a copy of your magazines and books, and if you have the video footage, take a good hard look. We've all got this. Now let's take a look at this in slow motion. As the plane approaches the South Tower, notice carefully the belly of the plane. There appears to be something attached, and just as it hits the building, there's a flash. Let's take another look in super slow motion. Let's look at this photograph that was taken near Ground Zero. On the right, we see the South Tower, and the smoke that's rising into the sky is emanating from the North Tower, which is completely hidden from view. On the left, just entering the field of vision of the camera, we see the plane just before it hits the South Tower. Note a couple of items here. The engine on the right wing has a shadow, and the shadow moves towards the front of the plane and off of the plane. So the anomaly that appears to be attached to the belly of this plane could not be caused by a shadow. Also note that the item that appears to be attached to the belly of this plane is on the right side. This plane has something that is not symmetrical on the bottom of the plane. When we compare that with the bottom of a regular 767, We'll note that a normal 767 has a belly that is smooth. This plane does not.